Hello everybody, it is Jess and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Thank you so much for joining me on this Monday evening. I'm very excited because it is time for me to talk about my spooky series, this project that I have been planning for quite some time. <laughs> So yes, it is coming up to spooky season. We are coming up to the end of August, start of September. We're nearly in the autumn season and I get so excited when it starts getting towards autumn because we've got Halloween in autumn, we have bonfire night in autumn and it's just my favourite time of the year all around. I love the atmosphere, you know, I love the temperature of the weather. It's not too hot, not too cold. It is just my vibe and it's also my favourite time of the year to be reading spooky books. I have always wanted to do something fun for Halloween and for spooky season. And so for the last few months, I have been planning this series that I am calling Monstrous Mondays. So every Monday at 7 p.m. there will be a new video where I read a different spooky book and vlog about it. There will be 10 videos, there'll be 10 vlogs, 10 books that will take us up to Halloween. Halloween is on a Monday this year, so that's why I've called it Monstrous Mondays. And it's basically just my countdown to Halloween. So every week for 10 weeks, up until Halloween, there will be a new vlog where I read something a bit spooky and I'm so excited to share it with you all. I've put a lot of work and time into this. Yeah, I just I just want to get it out there. I thought I would use this video as an opportunity to show you the books that I'm planning to read, share with you my TBR for these next 10 weeks. I have posted on my social media, on my Twitter and on my Instagram, the whole list of books that I will be reading as well and the dates that they are going up. Um, but yeah. Without further ado, let me show you the books. So for the first week, I will be reading Hyde by Kirsten White. This has been compared to Squid Game. It is basically about these 14 contestants who get thrown into an abandoned amusement park and they have seven days to hide from whatever or whoever is in this theme park. Um, and whoever wins, whoever is the last one, stand in, will get a cash prize. Um, apparently it's got a sinister twist and I'm excited to find out what it is. Week two will be Jaws by Peter Benchley and we all know Jaws. I've never seen the film but I want to. I want to read the book as well. This is a classic horror um, about this shark that is terrorising this community in America and it's about these men who go out to try and stop the shark and that's all I really know about it but I'm expecting it to be quite gory, quite scary, quite tense so we'll have to wait until week two to find out how I get on with that one. Week three will be the book of accidents. This is by Chuck Wendig. I've heard mixed things about this, but I'm intrigued to see where I stand on it. This is kind of like a haunted house story or a haunted town. Um, we're following a family who return to their hometown and to the dark past that haunts them still. We're following Nathan, who lived in a house in the country with his abusive father. And then we're also following Maddie, who saw something she shouldn't have. There is something sinister, something hungry, walking in the tunnels, mountains, and coal mines of their hometown in rural Pennsylvania. Um, so I guess it's not a haunted house story. I'm not really sure, but I'm excited to find out. Week four 
is Tender is the Flesh. This is by Augustina Buzterica. This has been everywhere. People seem to be loving this. I've heard that it's pretty gruesome, which is what I am hoping for, to be honest. This is basically a story about a civilization that eats human meat. Um, so we've got Marcos, who is in the business of slaughtering humans only no one calls them that. He works with numbers, consignments and processing. One day he's given a specimen of the finest quality. He leaves her tied up in an outhouse, a problem to be disposed of later. But she haunts Marcos. Her trembling body and watchful gaze seem to understand and soon he becomes tortured by what has been lost and what might still be saved. So I'm very intrigued. Five will be The Chestnut Man. This is by Soren Zweistrup. Uh, this is a Swedish thriller. I believe it was made into a Netflix show. I might be wrong. Um, but this sounds really creepy. It's set in Copenhagen in October and the police have found the body of a young woman. Um, there is a psychopath and he is leaving a chilling calling card. Um, above the body of the woman uh, is a small doll made of chestnuts. Yeah, he's going around killing people and the police are obviously trying to figure out who this person is and they're trying to stop them. Love a good old murder mystery and this one just sounds like it's got the perfect atmosphere for this time of year. So next for week six we have another book by another Swedish author and that is Let the Right One In. This is by John Ajvide Lingtvist and I'm so sorry if I pronounce that wrong but I've been trying. <laughs> um, this is a vampire story. We're following Oscar, he's 12, he lives with his mother on a housing estate um, and then we've got Eli who is a young girl, she moves in next door and it turns out she is a vampire and it sounds absolutely freaking amazing. So for week seven we have got Man Fuck This House. This is by Brian Osman and this is most definitely my favourite book title ever. It just sounds like so much fun. This is a haunted house story. We're following a family who have just moved into their dream home and something weird is going on. Um, She's, Sabrina is hearing odd noises and seeing strange visions and their neighbours are odd or just not there at all. This is going to test the family, the things that are going on are going to create some tension and I'm all for it. Week 8, we on week 8? Yes, we have got Plain Bad Heroines by Emily M. Danforth. I'm finally going to do it, I'm going to read this, I've been meaning to read it for ages. You guys who have followed me for a few years now will know that I've been saying I'll read this book a few times and I just haven't got to it yet. But this is Dark Academia, I think, but it's set in two timelines. We've got the 1900s and we've got Flo and Clara who are Brooke Hunt's students. They fell madly in love and they were brought together by their obsession for a scandalous memoir and then they are found dead a few months later from what is believed to be a horrific wasp attack, which is just great because I hate wasps anyway. And then we are in the present and we are following this production crew and these actresses who are making a film about these two girls. I guess the timelines are going to merge together or something. There's going to be spooky, similar goings on. And yeah, I'm not looking forward to the wasp aspect, but I've heard amazing things about this. Week nine will be Cujo by Stephen King. It wouldn't be spooky season without a Stephen King book thrown in there. He is the king of all things horror. Um, Cujo is really calling to me. This is um, about a Saint Bernard dog who is called Cujo. And then he chases a rabbit into a bolt hole um, and it's a cave inhabited by rabid bats. And I guess Cujo gets rabies. 
that's all I need to know. I love dogs and I don't like reading books about dogs that are not nice but we're gonna do it. We're gonna find out what this one's all about. I have high hopes for it. I'm really getting into Stephen King now. And then lastly, for week 10 and the vlog that will be airing on Halloween, I think I've saved the best for Halloween. I might be wrong, but we'll find out. Uh, I will be reading Slender Man. Now, the curious thing about this book is that it doesn't have an author attached to it. I can't seem to find an author. I've looked online. A few names have popped up, but it's not a definite yes that they wrote this book so I don't know if you know who wrote this book let me know um but Slender Man classic creepy story we've all heard the stories of the Slender Man right um this is following this is about sorry Lauren Bailey who has disappeared and her friends and police are searching for answers and we are following another character called Matt Barker who begins to dream of trees and black skies and something drawing closer. This book's written in kind of like journal entries, text messages, things like that, which I'm really um, interested in. I love books that are written in that kind of format. And I guess we're going to find out what happened to Lauren. I've heard this is amazing. I actually acquired this book from my brother-in-law and he read this so quickly and he said it's one of his favourite horrors. So I will be saving this for Halloween and that's when the vlog will go up and I'm so excited. <laughs> also a little bit nervous. I am interested to see if any of these books are going to scare me as much as I hope they will. This is also kind of a little experiment for me to find out which book is going to scare me the most. So yeah, that's it. That is my Monstrous Mondays TBR. That is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to get it out there, get you guys prepared for what is coming for the next 10 weeks. The first vlog will be up at 7pm on Monday 29th of August. And I know what you're thinking, Jess, August is a bit too early to be releasing spooky content, right? Well, you're wrong because it's never too early for any spooky content. <laughs> But I am going to wrap this video up here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm really excited for you all to see my vlogs and to just have a good time with me. If you want to read along with me as well, you're more than welcome to. If you want to read the book before the vlog goes out so you don't get spoiled by anything. I'm trying to make the vlogs spoiler free, but I can't promise anything there will be warnings in advance don't worry but yeah if you want to read along with me feel free let's have some fun and let's count down to Halloween which is easily the best night of the year thank you so much for watching guys please feel free to leave a cheeky thumbs up if you like this video because it really does help with my channel tell all of your friends get them involved you can subscribe to my channel as well and you can hit the bell button so you will be notified every single time i do upload and i will see you all in my next video and in my monstrous monday series very soon bye guys <laughs>